like 20 minutes ago. Look at the time. It's freaking 12.22. I'm uploading Bodybuilding with Calistex episode 17 right now because I really want to get it up by 2 o'clock. And man, like work was just killing me. Like, yo, people. Damn. It's crazy. Sorry for looking all murked, but you know what? I'm always looking ugly in my videos anyway, but anyway, <laughs> anyway, but anyway, yeah, I'm about to go to bed right after I upload this video. I'm going to try to eat something before I go to sleep because I did not eat that much today. And I'm trying to keep my diet consistent, but like it was out of my control. Literally, it was out of my control. I could not eat as much as I wanted to, so look at the sheets. I got like red sheets. I got new sheets because my mom is so hyped for my son to finally be coming over tomorrow. Since he hasn't come, he hasn't been here since he was born. So since this is the first time he's coming, my mom went to Walmart, got new sheets, got a, got a new pillow, like cleaned up my room, cleaned out the the little cradle thingy. Ah, but man, you guys should be seeing him now. Like he's getting so big. You guys should actually be following me on Instagram. For those of you guys who don't follow me on Instagram, go do it. Go show Micah some love. Soon he's going to be running the channel. He's going to be the next strength over size. The heir to strength over size. So you guys better respect him. Respect him. Okay? He's going to become the boss soon enough. Along with me. But yeah. Uh, let me just get this video uploaded. Go eat something and go to sleep. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Huh? I don't want to be on the You're not on the shot. Mike of the gold. Uh-uh. Uh -uh, uh -uh. No. 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 Okay. Okay. Gonna fall asleep, Michael. Oh, uh, he's about to knock out. He's about to knock out. He's about to go. He's about to go. So I just got finished seeing the baby, just sent him off, and now I'm here at the grocery store to buy some calories. I'm actually going to get me some peanut butter. I gotta get me some peanut butter. Hmm, expensive ass peanut butter that's going to pretty much do the same thing as a cheap ass peanut butter. Yeah, I'll go with the cheap ass peanut butter. Uh, two tubs, two tubs. So this is how I shop. I try to look at how much money I'm spending for the calories that I'm buying. So for example, this is $1.59 for the alphabet spaghetti soup thingy. It's not bad, it's a nice quick snack, but it's only 300 calories per can, or 150 calories per half a can for $1.59. Now you could actually spend $1.49 for a box of macaroni. I know it's not healthy, but just hear me out. For a box of macaroni, $1.49 for a thousand calories pretty much. A thousand calories for less money than what you would be paying for when buying the spaghetti soup or you could pay the extra 50 cents for the extra creamy if you like extra creamy macaroni and that is how I spend my money to get as much calories as I possibly can so I'm gonna spend the extra 50 cents because I like extra creamy and I'm going to get the extra creamy macaroni and I'm gonna pick up three I'll pick up three because it's easy calories that's a thou that's 3,000 calories right there. 3,000. Just those three boxes for $6. People ask me, yo, why is your diet so shit and your body is still good? Well, genetics, and I train, right? I train, so let's be honest. I train, I have good genetics, so I don't get fat off of eating fatty junk food like pizza all the time. I don't actually eat pizza as much as you guys think. There's that in every episode you guys see, I'm pretty much eating pizza. What a coincidence, eh? Y'all also ask why I don't buy rice and stuff. I've said it so many times before, but I'll say it again. My mom buys the rice and the chicken and the meats and the potatoes and stuff, so I don't go and buy those. And I still eat those, but you don't see it as much because I eat them during the nighttime, and I usually record these clips in the daytime. As y'all can see, these chicken strips are on sale for six for seven dollars. So easy calories right there, and it's not so expensive. It's not twelve dollars like it was before. So you look at snacks like this for $4. Would you ever really want to spend $4 on something like this? Even if you're dirty bulking? If you got that money, then go ahead. But if you're bulking on a budget, then nah, do not do that. It's not worth it. Damn, this lighting is making me look good. You see that though? You see that? 
Oh, I like that, bruh. I like that. I like that. Okay, now, before I even get into the commentary of this video, if you guys would like to see something that some of you guys have been waiting for, please go into the description box right now. I don't care if you're on the phone, laptop, PC, which I'm trying to build soon enough. Go into the description, click on my Instagram link, and look. Well, at the time of uploading this video, look at my most recent photo or my second most recent photo, depending on what I upload to Instagram next. Anyway, you guys will see what I'm talking about. Go there right now. After you guys go there, please come back to this video. Comment down below what you guys think. This will just be the start. I plan on expanding it. I'm not gonna say what it is. For those of you guys who check, you guys will know what it is. I'm planning on expanding it. I'm planning on bringing out different types and versions and colors of it. I think you guys will like it. I cannot wait till I get myself a few of these things. 30 of them bitches. Oh man, it's going to be amazing. 2016 guys, 2016. Now let's get down to the workout. The workout was amazing. Of course, it was pretty much the same thing that you guys see me do all the time and I started thinking I'm like yo are people getting tired of seeing me do the same exercises over and over but then I started to realize a couple of things all of these exercises that you watch from me Chris Jones Christian Guzman match tuning uh, max tuning whoever you watch Nick Wright Cali muscle Mike Rasheed Elliot Hulse all of them that you, well Elliot Hulse is a little bit different because he trains I like the like he really trains differently, but all the people I base, I basically mentioned, they all do the same exercises. We all do the same exercises, especially when you're in the gym. Dumbbell curls, rolls, deadlift, squats, overhead pressing, incline bench, dumbbell bench. We basically do the same exercises over and over, but yet we still watch the videos over and over. And I'm really starting to realize, well, I realized it before, but sometimes when I think so much, when I'm just thinking, when I'm just by myself just thinking, Things just hit me. I'm like, yo, you guys aren't really watching my channel, Chris Jones's channel, Mike Rashid's channel, etc. You're not watching these channels. Heck, even me, I'm not watching these channels to actually see them work out. I watch them because they entertain me. I they inspire me. I like seeing their life, the vlog portions of their videos. So when we watch Chris Jones, we're not watching him because he's working out. Heck. Working out is sometimes a, the smallest portion of his videos. If you really think about it, when you watch their videos, the biggest portion, if not half of the video is vlogging, right? It's them, you know, talking about the meals they're eating, them, you know, Bruno, Bruno, come say hi to the camera, say, come say hi to the camera. You know, stuff like that, that we watch that makes it so much more interesting, which is what I'm trying to do with these videos, like bodybuilding with cow tanks, power lifting or power building with cow tanks, whatever I plan on calling it. That is what, interests you guys to per the, the progress of you know my gains Chris Jones's gains even though he hasn't been making that much necessarily only because I believe he's, he's reaching his genetic limit I think I'm gonna speak on that too genetic limits because some people just man you know like no I'll speak on another video in terms of steroids and all that bull crap but yeah uh, pretty much that is the reason why I think you guys continue watching these types of videos because if I literally just made a video, in fact, I actually made a strict work. That was my first video, I think. My first video was just me working out. It was just me working out. Go to my very first video, guys. I'm surprised some of you guys didn't even do that. I kind of do that to every channel I watch. I go to their very first video to see where they started. But go to my very first video and watch it and see how Strength Over Size has evolved since then. So this week, I'm planning on, no, this week I'm going to. This week, if not this week, next week. Has to be this week. This week, I'm actually going to be writing down or typing out my powerlifting split. And I'll share that with you guys right before I actually go to the gym and start lifting. But I'm not going to announce any types of dates of when powerlifting calisthenics is going to start. I'm not announcing anything until I actually know I can record in the gym. Some of you guys don't know this. No, all of you guys don't know this because I never said it. No, I think I did say it actually. But a while back, several months ago, 
I think before the summer even started, I contacted, I emailed the manager of the gym that I plan on recording at, and he told me, as a matter of fact, let me show you the email. Okay, let me go to archive, and then let me go to Jason, and then let me open up this email that he sent me and he's like hi Simon recording yourself is not an issue as long as you are not getting any other members in the video without their permission and as long as you follow the rest of our gym etiquette please let me know if you have any other questions thanks and this was February 26 2015 so that was in February guys February so since that was all in February I'm going to do a follow-up call and see if he's sticking to his word or if that's if that's still allowed and if it's allowed then I will bring my parents and cow centers again I'm not announcing any dates put it this way when parents and cow centers comes out it's just gonna pop up on your feet like Paris and Cow Stanks. There's not gonna be any freaking trailer, nothing. I'm not gonna announce it. It's just gonna pop up like another video, like, yay, Paris and Cow Stanks episode one. And I'm going to stick with that. Uh, Bible Cow Stanks, as I said before, I haven't remained consistent. I failed this time. I can't lie, I failed. I didn't bulk the way I want to bulk. I'm not gonna throw out excuses and stuff. You guys know the deal. You guys been watching me. You guys saw me when I didn't have a lot of responsibility or things going on in my life. And that was when I was doing Power Thin Cow Stanks. When I was doing Power Thin Cow Stanks, the first time, y'all saw the progress. Y'all saw me hit 300 pounds for the deadlift in like two weeks. Y'all saw me hit the two plate squats. Y'all saw me hit the 205 bench press. Y'all saw the progress when I was remaining consistent. And y'all saw when I fell off after I found out I was having a kid, became depressed, uh, was switching jobs over and over just to find something that suits my schedule. Y'all saw the changes. So you, you guys can see like, hey, at least this guy was making gains when his life was more so in order. Like, I, I, again, like, I wouldn't expect any of you guys to go and have a kid and then freaking still remain, you know, getting all the gains that you've been getting without a kid in your life and without all the responsibilities hitting you at once. It's, we're human. We're human. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to own up to it. This bulk was not a good bulk. W would I be successful doing bodybuilding the cow stanks if I had to do it like I did parrots in the cow stanks? Yes. If I had no responsibility, no job, no kid, none of that, and I didn't get my life all, you know, twisted up in a bunch, I would be able to make gains. Heck, I've been making more gains now recently since things have been settling down, but hey, the winter is coming, the weather has been absolutely crap, I've been missing workouts. Not gonna say because of the weather, but because of the weather, what I mean by that is I use, I want to record my workouts and because the weather is, is crap and I can't record in crappy weather since this will fall over like you guys have seen multiple times, then I skip the workout saying, you know what, hopefully I can work out tomorrow and get the footage, but then the weather sucks that day, so then I keep postponing and postponing until the time, until I realize the week is over and I haven't worked out once in the week, so then I start saying, what the hell, like what do I do? So yeah, it's just been so messed up and I just can't wait to start power building or power lifting, whatever you want to call it, uh, and I'm not going to say when. I just can't wait for that time. I can't wait to hit the gym. Again, some people think I hate the gym. I don't hate the gym. The gym actually makes everything so much easier. Is it calisthenics friendly? No. Do I love calisthenics? Yes. But do I love fitness more? Yes. I love fitness all around. Can't wait to do parkour, uh, calisthenics, bodybuilding, powerlifting, whatever the hell it is. Training with Elliot Hulse doing strongman, which I will do. I guarantee you guys, you guys will be seeing a vlog of me flying down to Florida, meeting Elliot Hulse and training with him. Trust me. For those of you guys who are interested in the computer setup, this is what I have planned. So this space right here is where I'm going to be putting a dresser, a tall dresser, so like a skinny and tall dresser, so that I could get rid of that one, which is long in terms of width. So I need something that's long in terms of height and short in terms of width. So that when I get rid of that dresser, I could put a desk there. And usually desks are the side, are the width of my bed so basically my desk should 
line up with my bed and go up to there, which means I have a lot more space there. I could put like a playpen there for my child when he comes over. I can have my desk over there with my laptop, and my desktop, my PC, all that stuff. It'll be nice, and I plan on building a nice, powerful PC. It's going to be expensive, but I want to go all in instead of trying to upgrade later on. So yeah, I have so many other things to talk to you guys about and to tell you, but it's like, oh, I just... I'm trying to not reveal my intentions as much anymore because I hate when things just don't come through. So I just want you guys to bear with me. Wait, I'm telling you, 2016 is going to be an even bigger year. I remember in 2014, I said 2015 will be a big year. And it pretty much was because I had a kid. That was like the biggest thing in my life. But dang, 2016 in terms of YouTube, oh my gosh. Like if I was able to not have to work a nine to five, Oh, like you guys don't understand how much I could put into this. Oh my gosh, man. Uh, we'll figure it out though. It just burns me. It's like to know the potential I have and then to have these limitations that like I can't control just yet just pisses me off. Like, man, ah, uh, like just stick with me, guys. Uh, you know, uh, I just see the success coming, man. I just see it like it's there. I'm just reaching out for it. Just uh, continue supporting me, guys. Uh, I haven't even been counting the number of subs I've been getting or the views I've been getting. I know I'm approaching a million views. I'm approaching 10,000 subs. And I'm just like, I don't even care. I just don't even care. I just want to put out sick content for you guys. And when that happens... Ugh, like, you guys are going to be like, shit, Simon, like, I saw you from when you were making these shitty videos, these lower quality type videos, and I see you doing this, like, you guys are going to be proud of me, I'm going to make you guys proud, I'm going to be making the SOS family proud, Ugh, just, I thank you guys, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you, and I'll talk to y'all next time, done. workouts or your exercises or you can even slow down the reps for those of you guys who can't afford a weighted vest or don't have other types of weights to use but all in all you're able to